What's going on everybody? This is Chris and Michael from HBK Adventures and we are at our first stop in the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal over in Maryland. Uh, we just got here a little bit ago and we had dinner. We just had um, just rice and chicken. That's what we had prepared already. Um, and now we're walking over by the canal. It's, uh, it's pretty small. It's just a nice little walk right now. Um, tomorrow we'll look up a little bit more what the actual walk is um, that we'll do so we know exactly where to go tomorrow. But for now, it's just kind of a relaxing night. We're just kind of walking around. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah, that house. Or that, whatever, maybe it's a coal mine or something. Um, and so tonight, the, the big thing is gonna be finding a place to sleep for the first night. So that'll be exciting. And I'll let you guys know how it turns out. So we got it all set up. This is the first night. Um, in the van, we got we have a blow-up mattress, so we blew up the mattress, which was a little bit difficult. We might have to switch to a sleeping pad in the future, just because it was a little bit hard to uh, set up the blow-up bed, but we'll see how that turns out. We've got a fan going uh, to keep the air circulation. We've got the windows a little bit cracked, so wasn't horrible, uh, wasn't great, but we made it through. What did we, you think? We are comfortable. Yeah, we, we're good enough, so... Uh, we're gonna go to sleep now and we'll talk to you guys in the morning. Hey guys, that was the first night. We had the fan, this fan up here, plugged into our battery pack, which was charged to about 60% and it died out somewhere, Michael was saying, around 3 a.m. Yeah. So it wasn't horrible. I didn't fall asleep till later in the night just because I was kind of like hearing every noise and kind of hyper alert, but nothing happened. We just slept on and off and, uh, we woke up pretty early just because we don't have any coverings on the windows as you guys can see we have these nets over we're gonna have to get some coverings on the windows to darken the place a little bit so we were probably up around like six for the most part whenever the um, sun came up yeah but other than that it really wasn't that bad the mattress was pretty good so happier than i thought i would be uh, but we're going to need to figure some stuff out. Today we are going to be meeting our cousin and then we are going to go walk up and down the Ohio Canal and kind of see how that is. But first we got to rearrange the car, get everything ready. We're going to try and find a way to rearrange it so that we don't have to break down the bed each time because that would be really annoying to <laughs> set up every day. So we're just going to try and kind of figure some stuff out. Um, but like I said, better, better than I thought it would be, but still want to make some improvements. Here we are at the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal. We're just walking down the trail. Apparently it goes like 90 miles one way, 90 miles the other way. And we were kind of like at around the halfway point. That's what people were saying. So right now we're just walking. We made it through night number one. And uh, Michael's wearing some cool sunglasses. So, um, so you might be able to see it a little bit over that way. That's the uh, Potomac River. So right now we're just walking, we're enjoying the beautiful day. It's really nice, sunny, a um, little bit warm, but nothing too bad. We're going to do this walk. Um, for those of you who follow me on my other channel, Computer Guy Chris, you guys know that I'm getting my master's right now in computer science. And so later today, I will have to sign up for my classes for this next semester that I'll be taking while we are going on this trip. Uh, so that happens at 1130. I'll sign up for those classes, hoping to get into a... Uh, the two ones that I want to get into, and I'll talk about those on my other channel. So if that interests you, computer science or data science or just anything to do with technology, uh, follow me at Computer Guy Chris on YouTube. You can subscribe to that channel. Um, but for now, we're just going to keep walking down this trail and enjoying the beautiful weather and praising God for it. As we were walking a little bit down the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal, and we came across this jutty right here which I think was used to kind of measure the water because there are some uh, there's some foot markers over there. But it's just a really, really beautiful view. You guys can see the, uh, what, what the, what's the, the Potomac the River? The Potomac, the Potomac. And uh, yeah, it's just really, really beautiful and sunny today. And the river is awesome. Um, so yeah, we've just been walking. It's been really, really nice. The sun's poking out a little bit more, so the rays will get a little bit stronger. But it, it was just so beautiful, I wanted to share it with you guys. You know, it's really unbelievable what God has created in this world. You know, he could have made it so simple. He could have made all the rocks the same. He could have made all of the bodies of water the same. And he could have made all of us the same. 
but instead he just loves our variety and he loves beauty. Um, and so he created just these totally natural, totally unbelievable things. And he deserves all the praise for it. We got Chris pumping water. Let's see if he can get anything out. There yeah, we go. Let's go. He would not die if this was the 17 or 1800s. Good to know. How's it taste? A little bit metally, but pretty good. Like, it's nice and cool. So that was the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal. We walked down, what do you think? Three miles? Three, four miles. Yeah, three, three four miles. miles. We saw some cool stuff. We had, um, there was that water pump that I thought was super cool. Um, and I really liked that, that little spoke going out into the, uh, the Potomac. That was really, really cool. But overall, it's more of a walk or a bike than a hike. Um, but it was a great first stop. And then we came here, there's a little picnic area and uh, we had some lunch. We had uh, the rest of our food that we had stored from leaving. So now we'll have to probably cook tonight. And then we did a Bible study and we read Mark 3. For anybody who doesn't know, Mark is one of the gospel books. There's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And those are all books that reflect Jesus's time on earth and his preaching during that time. And so they're all very, very similar books accounting, if not the exact same events, very, very similar events that all happened from four different people who were with Jesus. And Mark 3 talks about one, Jesus choosing his disciples. So it says he, he pulled up, um, let me get, we're using, we use Michael's Bible today. So let me pull it up so I can get the verse. Uh, Daniel, okay. so it says, uh, okay, and this is uh, Mark three fourteen. It says, and he appointed 12 so that they would be with him and he could send them out to preach and to have authority to cast out demons. This is really the part where Jesus chooses the 12 disciples, right? And he gives them special names and he's choosing these people to go with him and to preach the gospel, right? The good news, the saving grace of Jesus Christ, that Jesus came here and lived the life that we could never live, a perfect sinless life, and died the death that we are supposed to die, a death that's deserved for a sinner. But because of Jesus and because of our faith in Jesus, we don't have to die that death. And then the second thing um, that I found in Mark 3 was uh, the Pharisees come up to Jesus and they, they ask why he's working on the Sabbath and why he's casting out demons and they, they blame him for being, being under Satan. And Jesus says, how can Satan cast out Satan? Um, and he says, how can a house that's divided against itself stand? Proving that Jesus is from the kingdom of light. Jesus is the ruler of the kingdom of light. Do you have any thoughts on Mark 3, Michael? Yeah, it's just uh, really interesting uh, comparing the Old Testament to these books. I've been reading a lot more of the Old Testament. This is uh, one of the first times really reading through Mark. And it's just interesting to, to see the differences that Jesus brings. A lot of the Old Testament is God talking to the people. And this is a lot more of the people talking to God and seeing what his response is, is the perfect response. And uh, really just Jesus shaking up the old system and creating a new one. Yeah, and that's, and that's part of what we read in Mark 2, right? Mark 2 talks about, it says, how can you put new wine into old wineskins? And that parable is, is saying, how can you take my new gospel and try to fit it into your old sinful ways? You can't. You need to be born again. You need a new heart. And for anybody who's watching these videos and who isn't born again, Jesus wants to have a relationship with you that is better than any relationship you could ever have. Um, Jesus saved me just a little bit ago, and it, it is, my life has been, it, it hasn't been perfect. I've still run into struggles, but I have joy and peace and a savior that's part of my life. And so for anybody, whoever sees these videos and is just thinking about it or just doesn't quite know who Jesus is, I would say get to know him, get a Bible, start reading. If I could recommend a book, I would say the book of John because it is it is the most amazing thing you can do with your life to get to know jesus and to glorify god so again uh chesapeake canal really great more of a walk than a hike but if you're around the area i think it's totally worth checking out if you're really into biking it's definitely worth checking out 
You got anything else to say, Michael? There's also a few signs, like uh, like you saw with yeah, the, the water signs. pump. There's some historical details that really just add to the whole experience. And, and the river is really just nice to have next to the whole path the whole yeah. time. So. And I think you can also kayak it, too, because we saw some people kayaking. So this is it. Our next stop, we're going to go see the Flight 93 Memorial, and then we are going to drive up to Ohio, and that'll be our next video. All right, guys, we are here at the Flight 93 National Historical Park. It was about an hour and a half drive from the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal. And the, the, the National Historical Park is really, really nice. If you're in the area, I would 100% recommend it. It is obviously memorializing uh, Flight 93, which happened on September 11th and was one of the flights that didn't hit the Twin Towers and just crashed here in Pennsylvania. Um, and so over there, down that way is the crash site, but we are just walking the trail. It says there's a half mile trail that kind of goes around certain areas. And that's what we're doing now. Any commentary? It's beautiful. It's really nice. Yeah. So if, if you're in the, the area, like I said, it's about an hour and a half walk or hour and a half drive uh, from the Chesapeake, Ohio Canal. I would definitely recommend it. So if we see anything super cool, we'll, ask, we'll show it to you guys, but I think this is gonna be it for this one. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this whole episode on the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal and the Flight 93 National Historical Monument. Bye. <laughs> All right.